travelers, today let's explore one of Malaysia's most charming cities, Malacca, or Malacca as the locals call it. This vibrant city on Malaysia's west coast is jam-packed with history, culture, and amazing experiences that you won't find anywhere else. In this video, we're counting down the top 10 things you absolutely must do in Malacca. We've arranged these activities by location to help you plan out your itinerary. Stick around until the end because we've got a bonus for you. Number 10. Visit the Stadhash and the Red Square. The Stadhash and its vibrant red square are the heart of the city center, and it's easy to see why. Built by the Dutch during colonization, the Stadhash is the oldest Dutch structure in the east that still stands. Nowadays, it's been converted into museums showcasing Malacca's history and culture. The Red Square, or Dutch Square, is where all the tourists flock because it's one of the most photogenic places in Malacca. You'll find other landmarks like the Clock Tower and the amazing Christ Church. For the best view of the square, head up to the museum building's balcony, accessible from the stairs in the square facing the Christ Church. The entrance fee to the museums in Stadhash is 10 Malaysian ringgit for adults and 4 ringgit for kids, and you can easily spend 1-2 to two hours there. Number 9. Climb St. Paul's Hill St. Paul's Hill is home to the ruins of St. Paul's Church, only a 15-minute hike from Red Square. It offers a great view of the city, and the ruins of the church are pretty impressive. Inside, the walls are covered in vertical tombstones, and there's a statue of St. Francis Xavier with one arm missing. Although the church has no roof, the arch-shaped entrances and windows on the side walls offer a beautiful view of the Malacca city skyline. If you're going up to St. Paul's Hill, don't forget to keep an eye out for two other cool places, the Architecture Museum and the Stamp Museum. They're on the way up, so why not stop by and take a peek? Who knows, you might just discover something interesting. Number 8. Visit Afamosa Fort. Afamosa is a historical fortress in Malacca that was built by the Portuguese way back in 1512. This landmark is only a few minute walk from Red Square, and the best part is that it's free. The ruins are stunning and give visitors an up-close look at the early Portuguese settlers' architecture. The history behind it is fascinating, and you can almost feel it when you're exploring the site. Plus, there are plenty of good photo opportunities all around, making it a great place to capture memories. Number 7. Explore the Malacca Sultanate Palace Museum Located at the foot of St. Paul's Hill, this museum offers a glimpse into the history of the Malacca Sultanate. Built to replicate the original Sultan's palace from the 15th century, this museum showcases the life and culture of the Malacca Sultanate. You'll get to see an impressive collection of artifacts, including traditional weapons, royal attire, and intricate carvings. There are also informative exhibits about the rise and fall of the Malacca Sultanate providing visitors with a deeper understanding of the city's rich history. The entrance fee is 10 Malaysian ringgit for foreigners. Number 6. Visit the Maritime Museum The museum is a replica of the Flor de la Mar, a Portuguese ship that sank off the coast in the 16th century. Located near Stadhash, you can take a leisurely stroll and see other historical sites like churches, mosques, and galleries on the way. The museum itself is massive, standing at 34 meters tall and 8 meters wide. Inside, you can marvel at cool artifacts like porcelain, silk, and spices used by seamen long ago, and even catch a glimpse of sunken treasures from another shipwreck. Ship enthusiasts will especially love the collection of ship models on display, and can even climb up to the upper deck and peek into the captain's cabin. For foreign visitors, admission is 10 ringgit for adults and 6 ringgit for kids, and the museum is open daily from 9 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. Number 5. See Malacca from Tamingsari Tower Want to see the best view of Malacca? Then head over to the Tamingsari Tower, also known as the Malacca Tower. This 110-meter tall revolving tower is Malaysia's only one of its kind and can hold up to 66 people per session. The ride lasts about 7 minutes and gives you a panoramic view of the city, including iconic landmarks like the Independence Memorial Building, Flor de la Mar's ship, St. Paul's Hill, and the stunning Blue Straits of Malacca. Admission for foreign tourists is 23 Malaysian ringgit for adults and 15 ringgit for kids. Number 4. Explore the Baba and Nyonya Heritage Museum Travel back in time and discover traditional Peranakan culture at the Baba and Nyonya Heritage Museum. Made up of three beautifully restored townhouses designed in a Chinese Palladian style, the museum showcases a mix of East meets West designs. Built in 1896, the museum features beautifully hand-patent tiles 
intricately carved teak wood doors, and other impressive decor that will leave you in awe. But the real highlight of the tour is the guides, who will charm you with their Peranacan wit and entertain you with stories of Baba Ñoña's life and culture from the past. The tours last approximately 45 minutes and are packed with informative insights. Admission is 18 Malaysian ringgit for adults and 13 ringgit for children. Number 3. Eat and Shop at Junker Street Night Market Junker Street Night Market is a must-see for anyone visiting this historic city. With over 450 stalls, there's plenty to see and eat. Open on Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays, and maybe soon on weekdays too, the market offers all sorts of Malaysian food, local Nyonya cuisine, Chinese and Indian dishes, and even some Thai food. Prices are reasonable and not inflated like some tourist traps. Additional tip, get there early at 6.30 p.m. when everything's available because some items will sell out quickly. Overall, Jonker Street Night Market is the place to be for a fun night out with great food and culture. Number 2. Take a cruise along the Malacca River Cruising down the Malacca River is a unique and enjoyable way to experience the historic city. The river, which runs through the heart of the city, played a significant role in its development over the centuries. Today, it's still a vital part of the city's landscape and a popular tourist destination. As you cruise down the river, you can see some of Malacca's most significant landmarks, including the Dutch Square, the Portuguese Settlement, and the Sultanate Palace. Enjoy stunning views of the city skyline and learn about the city's history and culture from the tour guide on board. The 45-minute boat ride costs 30 Malaysian ringgit for adults and 25 Malaysian ringgit for kids and is available every day from 9 a.m. to 11.30 p.m. Number 1. Watch the Sunset at Straits Mosque Straits Mosque may be a bit of a journey from town, but it's definitely worth it. Built on a man-made island in 2006, this floating mosque offers stunning views of the ocean and the chance to experience Islamic architecture with a Malaysian twist. Although it doesn't actually sway, so no worries there, you'll still want to dress appropriately and cover your body before entering. Don't worry if you forget though, they provide clothing on the outside changing rooms. Once inside, take in the breathtaking interior, but be careful not to step on the large prayer carpet or mat. The staff are helpful but assertive, and they'll let you know if you accidentally do. The mosque is especially beautiful during sunset, when the chanting from the radio mixes with the sound of waves. The golden dome reflecting on the sunset is a sight to behold. At night, the mosque is lit up with different colors, giving it a unique charm. Thanks for sticking around. We've got a little something extra for you. Our top picks for the tastiest eats in Malacca. Trust us, food is a big deal here, and we're excited to share some of our favorite dishes and restaurants with you. Chicken Rice Ball from E. G. Ban. The iconic chicken rice ball is a must-try when in Malacca. Imagine perfectly cooked rice infused with delicious chicken broth, shaped into bite-sized balls and seasoned with ginger and sesame oil. It's simply mouth-watering. Sadly, a few of our go-to spots have closed during the pandemic, but fear not, E. G. Ban is still going strong. They've been serving up their famous chicken rice balls for over 60 years, so you know it's the real deal. Nyonya Cuisine from Nancy's Kitchen and Atlantic Nyonya Nyonya Cuisine is this unique cuisine, is a blend of Chinese and Malay styles and ingredients and reflects the mixed cultural heritage of the Peranakan community in Malaysia and Singapore. Nancy's Kitchen and Atlantic Nyonya are our top picks for experiencing the best of Nyonya Cuisine. From spicy and tangy flavors to intricate preparation and presentation, this cuisine is sure to leave your taste buds wanting more. Malacca Chendol from Junker 88 Chendol is a refreshing dessert made with shaved ice, coconut milk, palm sugar syrup, and green jelly noodles. Chendol is perfect for beating the heat. And if you're looking for the best Chendol around, you can't go wrong with Junker 88. Their Malacca Chendol is seriously next level. But that's not all. Junker 88 is also known for their amazing Nyonya cuisine. These are just a few of the top and most famous restaurants in Malacca. There are many other great places to eat in the city, so be sure to explore and try out different places to get a taste of the local cuisine. And that's it for our guide to the top things to do in Malacca. We hope you've enjoyed watching and have found some inspiration for your next trip. Have you been to Malacca before? What are some of your favorite things to do there? Or maybe you're planning a trip and have some questions or suggestions. Let us know in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. Don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoyed this video and subscribe to our channel for more travel guides and tips. And if you found this video helpful, please share it with your friends and family who might be planning a trip to Malacca. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.